Welcome back to another tutorial on the APFE new editor for All Pro Football 2K8. Today we're going to talk to you about a very important topic, editor mode types. There's two different types of modes. Well, there's more than two, but we're going to walk through the two basic uh, fundamentals of the All Pro Football editor. You have brand new to the editor are season files. So now you can actually take a season file from your All Pro Football 2K8 game and import it into the, uh, the editor here. So let's go ahead and open up a roster file to start off with. And this is an Xbox roster file because it ends in .ros. The PS3 will, will basically have no extension and will be named user data. But the, 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 this is, so this is roster mode. This is what you want to, this is what we're going to talk about. This is when you have a roster file and you're limited to a subset of icons and menus. You have your home, which is your team screen. You have your roster screen, your depth chart, your coach editor, your tools menu and your settings. Tools and settings are always on, whether you're in season mode or you are in roster mode, okay? So in roster mode, you also have player editor, which you have in both. And so in season mode, you have all of this plus more, okay? But we're gonna talk about the roster mode. Now, roster mode is when you have a roster file that basically has anywhere from one to eight created teams. In this version, we have eight created teams, and you can see that here. Um, these icons are basically your user-controlled teams, and uh, to quickly show you where, where they are. Um, the best way to use APFE is to have eight created teams built and saved to your roster file. That way, you can easily go into what they call online and offline mode. So I know it sounds confusing if you haven't used it before, but when you first load a roster file, which let me go ahead and bring one up here. See if I can grab one that needs to be, that's not the right file. See if I can grab one that is, hasn't been built yet, because I want to show you two things. Let's see. First thing I'm going to show you is if I open up a roster file that has one team, so anything less than eight created teams, this one has one created team, it's going to ask you if you want to rebuild the file for offline mode. And as I've said earlier in my previous tutorials, offline mode cannot go online. You can't take this roster online. If you're in season mode and you have a season file you're loading, there is no online, so you're always gonna be asked to rebuild to offline mode. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so in this instance, if I hit yes, it's going to say you can't because you don't have eight created teams, right? So you must have eight created teams in order to, to rebuild the roster. It opens it up in online mode and it doesn't allow you to rebuild, okay? So if we want to go into offline mode and actually rebuild it, what I'm going to show you here, this is an eight created team roster. And it's going to ask you, do you want to rebuild for offline mode? You're going to hit yes if you know you're not going to use it online. And ask you, are you sure? And you say yes. And it rebuilds it offline. So in offline mode, you can actually change the names to whatever you want them to be. They're free. You can do whatever you want. Same thing with the teams. You can make this the go-getters, whatever, whatever you want to make them. And offline mode gives you a lot more flexibility. So this is roster editor mode type, online and offline mode. Online mode, you can only take online. Offline mode, you could use offline. But remember, 
for the roster, this is just the roster. This is not for a season. You don't want to take this roster once you customize it, once you have done any editing to it offline or online. You don't want to convert that into a brand new season. You never want to do that. Okay, what you want to do with season is you want to create a brand new season without ever going in the editor, all default, eight default teams. You want to go into the season. You can have eight teams or one team for season mode. doesn't matter. Um, so season mode is a little bit different. We're going to talk about that now. So let's go ahead and open up a season file. And you guys can't see this, but I'm going to open one here. And actually, let me open one that is going to ask me to rebuild. <clears throat> See if this works. I don't want to save changes. So right now we're opening up a season file that hasn't been built yet. So this is the equivalent of going into all pro football, creating one to eight teams in the game, and then going into new season and saving your season, right? It turns into an FXG file. And when you open it, it's going to tell you this file has never been rebuilt. And are you okay with rebuilding it? And it says it will create a backup for you. So when you hit OK, it's going to create all of the franchise folders and structure needed to go into a multiple year franchise. And it will tell you franchise file template successfully constructed, season file successfully rebuilt. So now season mode in, in uh, offline, which is the only mode, offline mode for season, for, for season files, you're going to be able to edit everything uh, just like before. And just like in the same offline mode I was talking about with the roster file, same idea here. You have all the things that you had with the roster mode. Um, and we're going to dive into more season stuff later on in different tutorials. But this one's just to show you that now you're in season mode. And season mode has more. It has the season page with your divisions and your playoff. has your schedule where you can create and customize your schedule and view game results has the team standings where you can look at all your rankings and uh, sort through and pivot the data to get a view on how you're doing in your season in terms of your standings. It has all the years on here as well. Player stats, same thing happening here. You can look at all of your player history, uh, stat history, and same thing with the team stats. And then you also have, you know, like I said before, these are always going to be included. and that's season mode. So that's the difference between roster and season mode. One last thing that I want to show you that I didn't uh, mention just yet was the online mode. So to so for season mode, you're never going to be in online mode, just not allowed. But when you have a roster, um, the roster will tell you if you're in online or offline mode. So if we go to, let's see, not that one. If we go to a default eight team. Oh, that's the one that I have open. Sorry, one second. So if we go into a file that's online mode, you can tell that you're in online mode because you have this indicator here. So this online indicator tells you when you are using an online file. And um, this is, the, this is the, the indicator that tells you whether or not you can go online with it. You also will know because you're not going to be able to edit names. You're not going to be able to edit any of these names. You have to pick from a list of names. So that's it. That's roster mode. And you can do it in offline or online. And then you have season mode, which you can only do in offline. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you guys followed along. If you need to go back and listen to it again, go for it. There's all, inf all this information in our help files if you hit F1. So go there and um, please um, 
I encourage you to look through all these tutorials to get a better feel for how to use this uh, new editor. And thanks for watching.